Small businesses across the country are calling for EID loan forgiveness. We have seen so many people on this channel calling their senators and congresswomen and congressmen to cancel debts of idle loans that they took under duress during the pandemic. Good news. We've seen a movement of like-minded small businesses and men and women begin to take root. And this is how we obtain the commanded blessing in unity. It's a place where God commands the blessing. I don't want to be the front runner of this movement. I don't want a single praise that will follow once this debt is forgiven. That would be prideful and arrogant. And uh, I honestly, I, I hate that spirit. It's ugly spirit. Not only that, but the truth is I can't move this mountain without help. But I know someone that can. And the front runner in all this, in all this, his name is above all names. And with him, we can do all things because he has the strength and faith to do what seems impossible. Wait a minute, speak. Are you talking about Jesus? Yup, that's his name. He will get the praises, not us. He will get the glory and honor. As we humble ourselves, he will heal our land. He wants no man to be in debt to any other. And if he can use his disciples to get money from a fish's mouth, then he can use you to move the hearts of our elected officials to forgive the loans that had to be taken in order to sustain their livelihoods and your livelihoods. He who has been forgiven much loves much. We all know that our elected officials need grace and forgiveness for the choices that they've made in all of this. I sincerely believe they had the best intentions and I forgive them and so should you. And now, if they could extend that forgiveness to the small businesses of this country and we could move forward in strength, unity, and love from here, boom. Join me right now in agreement and faith that we can call on the mighty, powerful name of Jesus for this miracle. The one who said, you have not because you ask not or you ask awry. Well, we're not asking awry on this. We're asking our senators and congressmen. First of all, we're asking God. He's first. Then we ask our senators and congressmen. We don't call the SBA. They can't do nothing. We don't call uh, Joe Schmo down the road. He can't do nothing to forgive this loan. We're not asking awry. We're, first of all, we're asking the Lord that you make a way where there is no way where it seems to be impossible for all, all people, white black, yellow, brown, pinstriped, lowly, underserved, overserved, the large, the small, the heathen, the believer, that they all see your mighty hand, Lord, and your forgiveness, which you have given to us the same power to forgive, the same power to retain. We don't want the, the loan retained. We want it forgiven. We choose to forgive, and we ask our elected official leaders to choose to forgive as well. We send forth your comforter, Lord, your discernment, your ministering spirits and ministering angels, and the spiritual words we speak go forth. They go out and they touch their hearts and give them wisdom and understanding to cancel these debts. These are debts that the enemy seeks to use against small businesses and hold them in bondage. We break that chain right now by faith. Right now, we will overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. And our testimony in faith is that the EIDL loans, EIDL loans will be and already have been in faith forgiven. And our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to Him be the glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. And amen means so be it. In Isaiah 55, 11, it says, So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth, in your mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper the thing for which I sent it. We send it to the EIDL loans for forgiveness right now, and it will prosper. We, we fight sicknesses in, in the spiritual by prayer and in the natural by going to the doctor. We use all the tools allotted to us to overcome what we need. So now we fight in the spiritual by prayer and in the natural by contacting our elected officials and gathering more small business owners to join this movement. This is how we overcome. So, so for all you who are believing for this to happen, it's the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous that avails. Lift this up to God every day. Don't stop if you have, you have to come back to this video and watch it again. Pray with me on this. Don't stop. See that as your phone call to God. Contact your state and local reps as a phone call to them. You have the time when, if you have the time, don't stop. A simple phone call to them with a peace filled, loving, kind request to move on your business's behalf and the behalf of the American people. Share this video with your congressman, your twit on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and any other way that you can to share it with your friends and family who will join in this together, we need our natural to be infused with God's supernatural and faith with works because faith without works, well, it's dead. I want to give a quick thanks to all of you, all of you who have been involved in this movement since the day it began. 
keep up the great work. I, I want to say thanks again to my, my friend over there, Jason McElhome over at trysmallbiz.com for all he's done in the past. Hopefully will continue in the present and the future. And I really am honored to have you all join us in, in this. The old timers that have been forever and the newcomers as well. Thank you all. I love you all, but Jesus loves you more and he can do much more than I can do by myself. So we got to get him involved in this. And can somebody say, hey, we still want our 10K. Love you guys. Yeah.